Okay, that's the Cataclysm. There's no Refresher. BH, he's trying to go for the Ancient. He's going for the Ancient. They can't stop him. He's winning the game. There's n The four comes out. Maybe they can't stop him. It's Sniper versus BH. Can he kill him in the time of the fort? Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. This is my email. Uh, somebody sent me, Treant broke his mouse by hitting it against the wall that led us to an 80-minute game. Treant and Shadow Shaman safe lane. Uh, and I said, Lamau, okay, you got me with this description. I will watch this. Uh, and of course, he's mid. Yep, that's a Pudge mid. Hooking the Centaur, revealing the ward. And that was a terrible trade. That's a classic right there. Oh, no, he's not actually a Pudge mid. He just revealed the Invoker's ward. Well, that's fine. He doesn't have to lane there and deal with the repercussions of that, so. Very solid stuff down here. And then what is Pudge doing? Yep, naturally, uh, as per Herald Pudge tradition, he's standing in the trees and hooking range creeps by mistake. That's that's a classic. Oh, wow, he blocked the hard camp. I mean, it spawned, but the next spawn, it'll be blocked. That's pretty good. And he gets the hook. Rubik has his tangos in his backpack, so he's not going to get out of this. Centaur could Quelling Blade him out. Okay, so he did. He figured it out eventually. Uh, Wraith King is just straight up committing to this. Yeah, maybe a little in over his head. Ooh. Uh, was that a salve? I don't know. He's got no regen. Let's see, let's see how he responds to this. Oh, he was just tipping the pudge. That's what he was doing. Holy shark, is this guy sending Ford Spirits for runes? In Herald? Uh, okay, there we go. So that is a complete rush of the Meteor Hammer. The guy went literally zero items into Meteor Hammer. He has it at level four. Okay, well, you know, the guy that emailed me, it, it seemed like this, I, I, I thought this lane went bad, but this looks like a disaster for Dyer. And they even have the combo, dude. Oh, that was close. And he's dead to Sniper again, who is ganking once again, in case you were wondering. All right. Oh, here we go. Pudge TP bot. This is the big boy. BH is scouting. Nice sun strike. Um, he does have Stampede. Not going to be utilizing that. Please tell me he doesn't somehow walk away from this, dude. <laughs> Come on. Okay, he's dead. Eat right? Yeah. Not the cleanest. But that's, you know, two heroes dead. That's pretty good. Lag, he says. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this where the mouse disconnection happens? I broke my mouse? Oh, my God. So how is he moving it around? Okay, I gotta... Oh, he, he got it working. He got it working. It's not looking good, though. It's really not looking good. It, so it seems like it's, like, intermittently disconnecting. That's what's happening to his mouth. There he goes again. There he goes again. It back into the Logitech settings. While the Trian is struggling with his mouse situation, Pudge is bot. Misses a hook on the Shadow Shaman. Holy shit, and he does not give a fuck about being one versus three. He's gonna go in anyway. Pudge hooks his guy out. That's priorities right there. This man's a true five player. It didn't work though. Yeah, they got the kill. All right. Yeah, really wants to farm these. Looks like he might be the one getting farmed if he's not careful. So it looks like he got a replacement mouse. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the dream. He is completely on his fucking own. <laughs> oh, but it was cool. It was cool. It was worth it. It was worth it. You got the Shadow Shaman to block himself in the wards. Mental damage. He has to sit there and wait now. His TP's on cooldown for 11 seconds. They see the tree. All right. <laughs> he is AFK again. Yep, yep, the Logitech has uh, lost connection with the receiver here. They are, they think he's like faking it or something, I don't know. 
They're like, is this for real? It, it is. Rubik tried to save him. Oh, yeah, that's a TP interrupt right there. No, it's not. This is a th 3v4. This is a 3v4. If anything... Ooh, that's a nice ward trap on the invoker. Oh, yeah, he's fucking dead. They're winning a 3v4 on the low ground. Yeah, all Dota instincts tell me that fight should not have gone the way of the Radiant. Where's Tree? Uh... <laughs> he bought the Tome of Knowledge, dude. Oh, imagine a guy disconnecting constantly. Or sorry, his mouse disconnecting and then he steals the fucking Tome of Knowledge. How mauled would you be? This is pretty bold from Centaur, I will say. He is just walking up with literally no vision and no team anywhere near. Yeah, that that was that was deserved. That was well deserved. My man has balls way bigger than he can carry. Holy shit. There's no fucking way this works, right? There's no way. Oh my god, it actually worked. That guy is top net worth on the Radiant. And Sniper pings his tree. Yep. Yep, he is AFK there. <sighs> so this is a one versus four scenario. And Pudge successfully takes him out. Very nice. Rubik does steal hook though. Oh, here we go. Here's the wraparound. Oh, fuck yeah. Two people on my team have died. That's the perfect timing. Yeah. Ooh, that's a double. Hits the Sunstrike. Got the BKB. I can't tell if he's owning or getting owned. I think he's owning. Yeah, that's a triple. Yep, speaking of flying. And he's dead. Oh my god, is Trian gonna contribute? Holy shit, he's pressing spells! Alright. Uh oh. Oh my god, he's owning. Dude, he is actually owning on tree. This guy is very impressive for not having a mouse. How do you know he doesn't have a mouse? Because he said it in all chat. <laughs> And then he proceeded to not move for like five minutes. I'm using lap laptop mouse to play, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to give him a pass on that misspelling. He does have a keyboard. So calling it a laptop is just a... That's just a fuck up right there. We'll, we'll go ahead and shame him for that. Okay. 4v3. Shadow Shaman blinks in. Hex is a hero this time. And he's dead. That was a very quick buyback into death. All right, this is Sniper's favorite thing, dude. This is the dream. Oh, yeah, keep fighting my team. Keep fighting my team, bitch. Yeah, I'll just peep you from the tier fours. Yeah, no big deal. Oh, you want to respawn three times? I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is gameplay. Somebody needs to disable him. Yeah, dude, this invoker is for sure a smurf. I mean... I, I will say, I will say one thing. This looks like Rubik is on the enemy team. I will say that. Uh, that was some double meteor action right there. What the fuck is happening with these hooks, dude? People are flying everywhere. And he's dead. Yeah, that's what you get for killing your sniper. Sniper does not have BKB, so I think he's dead either way. Holy shit, he had BKB the entire time. Alright. Nice try, nice try. Uh, Invoker has Refresher, but he's holding it. He's being greedy. He's waiting for all of his spells to be used first. And there's the Meteor Hammer. 
he's actually fine on tree. They have no detection. He's slowly dying, but not quickly enough for his Greaves aura. Okay, Centaur ult comes out onto the Pudge. Wraith King is there on Sniper. Let's what is happening? What he's on a cart. He that's what's happening. He's on a cart. I don't think he realizes he's on the cart because he's not attacking anything. <laughs> Holy shit. Um does it disarm? And it's gonna work. Although I feel like he's feeding. I really do. He has no BKB now. Oh, the huge hook comes out from Pudge. And I don't mean huge as in it was important. I just mean it was literally massive. Centaur jumps in, double stun, and the double meteor hammer from Tree. Very nice. The Centaur ult is doing a lot of damage because of the Giant's Ring. Remember, it is strength-based. Invoker comes in, he hexes somebody. I think it was the guy that got banished. Yeah, it was the Centaur. As two banishes come out, he's got two charges of that. Wraith King comes in, Centaur has 8,400 HP, but absolutely no mana. Hitch a ride on the tree at the guy without a mouse. That's probably pretty convenient for him because he can't move around on his own. Okay. Sniper comes in, breaks the Shadow Demon like it matters. Gleipnir Shadow Demon does go down. And that is three dead for the Dire. Alright. Hook comes out. Oh, it connects! It connects on the Invoker! The most important target! And he has no buyback for 30 seconds. Oh, this forces all the buybacks. It forces all the buybacks. Invoker has no BKB. Wraith King jumps in while Invoker's healing in the fountain. Bounty Hunter's trying to throne. I don't know if that's going to work out. They take the mid-racks. The snipe comes out. Wraith King does not have ult. He's going to die. Does he have buyback? He does not have buyback. That was actually his buyback. Okay, that's the Cataclysm. There's no refresher. BH, he's trying to go for the Ancient. He's going for the Ancient. They can't stop him. He's winning the game. There's n The four comes out. Maybe they can't stop him. It's Sniper versus BH. Can he kill him in the time of the fort? Holy shit! He kills him! The creeps! Kill the creeps! You motherfucker! Oh my god! Somebody could TP here and take the throne. Invoker could do it. Oh, dude, Radiant! They're going for it! They're going for the throne! Invoker, he's going for the kills. He's going for the kills instead of going for the throne. And they're gonna get Centaur. Okay, they did get Centaur. So he does a buyback. They're going straight down mid. Pudge is TPing top. Okay, this could be where they fuck up. Back door is on. Oh, he shrapnels them! He, they see them. They see them over there. And the hook comes out from Rubik. Do they have detection? They do. He's dead. 120 seconds. He does have buyback. Pudge? He gets caught. He does not... Oh, he does have buyback, actually. He just doesn't have money for it. And they can get a they can get a rune. He'll have buyback. Sniper almost killed himself, by the way. He has 20,000 gold, though, so he should be fine. He's got the Vampiric Spirit Skeletons. Although, there's no fortification from Dire. So, if Shadow Shaman drops both of his wards, they've got to kill these wards. They've also got to kill Sniper. If he just hits the throne, I think it's over. If Shadow Shaman focuses his wards, which he is, Invoker's pressing all of his spells. He's trying his best, man. But they want out. They want out, and they're going to get out. Jesus Christ. I did not expect that. What a fucking game. <laughs> this guy won without a mouse. Hopefully we can see his hot, wet cream later 